Well, now, it may not look like much, but a fossil discovered in rock in Leicestershire in central England could be evidence of the Earth's earliest known predator, which lived around 560 million years ago. Scientists believe it's related to the modern-day jellyfish. Victoria Hicks reports from Leicestershire. 560 million years ago, Charnwood Forest sat at the bottom of a deep ocean on the sides of a series of volcanoes. And it's here where this earliest known animal predator would have lived. How significant is this find? Well, the early history of animal life is very poorly understood and that's mostly because there are very few fossils preserved at that time. This fossil pushes back one of the modern groups of animals by 20 million years further back into time. And that's the group that included the sea anemones, uh, the jellyfish and the corals. It's understood this specimen lived in shallower water than other fossils found here. It's different from anything else found around the world because it has a skeleton with densely packed tentacles. So we know that the animal had a stalk and a cup and on top of that or within that cup um, was a polyp very much like a sea anemone with lots and lots of tentacles that it used to catch food. This fossil has been named Aurora Lumini Attenborough after Sir David Attenborough, who used to hunt for fossils here as a child in Charnwood Forest. Interestingly though, he said he never went looking for fossils in the rocks where this one was found because they were considered so ancient they dated from before life began on this planet. That all changed in 1957, when a schoolboy found this fern-like impression. It turned out to be one of the oldest fossilised animals, Charnia masoni, further establishing Charnwood Forest as a world-class site for paleontologists. Well, it's a key tie point in the evolution of animal life. So, for the first time, we're able to say at 560 million years ago, there was a group of animals that look just like modern animals, that had skeletons, that were predators and that were colonial. There were lots of them living together. That's a really, really big thing. The location of Aurora Lumini Attenborough is being kept under wraps to protect it. David Attenborough says he's truly delighted to have it named after him. Victoria Hicks, BBC News.